I'm Jeremy Oates. I'm, my current appointment is a, as a professorial fellow in the Melbourne School of Population and Glo Global Health at the University of Melbourne. Uh, I'm also currently consultant to the Australian Institute in Health and Welfare on Maternal and Perinatal Health Unit. I've been Director of Women's Health at the Mata Mothers Hospital in Queensland and then more recently the Royal Women's Hospital in Melbourne. My main research and special interests have been in diabetes and pregnancy and also in maternal and perinatal mortality and morbidity and evidence-based guidelines. I was invited by Derek Llewellyn Jones to contribute to the seventh edition of Fundamentals of Obstetrics and Gynaecology and subsequent to his death in the latter stages of the pre-publication of this, I joined Suzanne Abraham uh, with completing the seventh edition and after this Suzanne and I edited and authored the eighth, ninth and tenth edition of, uh, of Fundamentals of ONG. Each chapter has been extensively revised and contributing expert clinicians have been involved in the revision and updating of all the chapters. Um, this is a change because uh, although we had had in the past um, advice uh, from uh, expert clinicians, this time they've been much more intimately involved in the actual writing of the chapters. The vision for this uh, 11th edition is to retain Derek Willem Jones' legacy and philosophy that the student of women's health should be provided with the fundamentals that are based on the best available quality evidence, and that it should be communicated to the woman and her family in comprehensible language with the total acceptance that the final decision on what treatment she should undergo is hers and hers alone and to encourage healthcare providers to provide a woman-centred approach that provides healthcare in partnership with women. And to reflect the changes in both the management of women's health and in the basic sciences that underlie the causation and pathophysiology of these various conditions. These changes, especially in the gynaecological chapters, to reflect the trend away from a predominantly surgical focus to more holistic and to include medical and psychosocial care. There is a new chapter on weight and reproductive health and because of the rapid rise in particularly increased weight and its impact on adverse outcomes and the provision of care to minimise these complications. On polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS, Again, due to the increased prevalence of the condition, it was both of these were in the previous edition, but these have been expanded quite, uh, uh, quite significantly. By reading the basic chapters before they start their women's health term, and then following the formal lectures, tutorials, and clinical exposure to read the relevant chapters of the conditions that they've been, uh, been exposed to or been taught about. The new chapters that I mentioned before, the weight and reproductive health and PCOS, and of course now the SARS-CoV-2 impact in pregnancy and its effect uh, is covered. Uh, there have been major changes in the way cervical screening has been done and this is reflected. Uh, the disorders of sexual development and trans and gender diversity. And all of these have been reviewed by clinical experts and updated or added to this edition. With the relatively brief time now that's devoted to women's health in many medical courses, using this book gives the student fundamentals that they can build on as they require. The book uses an evidence-based approach so the student can be assured that the information they're accessing is reliable and balanced. I think it's the most comprehensive revision and update of fundamentals of obstetrics and gynae since the two original volumes. Um, I can show you the, the first original volume 
and it was done in two volumes, one for obstetrics and one for gynaecology. And this was subsequently condensed into one volume uh, covering both obstetrics and gynaecology with thus a 50% reduction in the content. Uh, and this followed when the, there was a major reduction in the time allocated for teaching. So this new edition, I say, is the most comprehensive review of the whole book, uh, certainly I think in the last um, 20, 30 years.